Hi everyone and welcome back. Today's video is a bit of a sombre one. The garden is starting to look bare as I remove chilli plants that have stopped producing. It's the second month of autumn. The weather is cooling down, leaves are starting to turn yellow and fall off as we move closer to winter here in Adelaide. For the past two weeks I have been harvesting chilies almost every day and I still have a decent amount to pick such as these yellow primo tarlies that I used in my soil experiment video and these red and white ghost chilies which are the last two standing in my raised garden bed. Speaking of the raised garden bed check out the size of this root ball from my seven pot brain strain red plant. This was one of my best producers this season. As you can see, the root ball is as big as the plant above ground. The greenhouse has been emptied and I'll be cleaning this out soon, hoping baby Groot can look after it for me. The small raised garden bed next to the greenhouse still has plenty of Piazzinos, Pepperoncinos, Orange Peter Peppers and these beautiful chocolate fatalis which I only noticed the other day. In the main garden bed, one plant that continues to thrive is the red ricotto plant which I'm going to keep throughout the winter as the rest of the plants will be removed. The garden bed out the front is looking bare having removed the Maruga scorpion chocolate, seven pot giant yellow and yellow fatale, just leaving the chocolate naga brain and chocolate fatales to ripen. My bay of bacatums as I like to call it has almost finished having given me high yields. As with the red ricotto out the back, I have a yellow ricotto out the front which has really taken off now and is starting to produce massive pods. That's a keeper. My Carolina Reaper overwintered from last year and the Australian developed Oz Brain Killer 1 have gone absolutely bonkers this season. This will be my third and final harvest of these plants which should give me half a pound of fruit per plant. Before I wind up this end of season update, I thought I would take you back to a video I uploaded in October 2019 showing you how I transplanted my chili plants. I thought it would be only fitting to show you the removal of the plant six months later. That's all for this update folks. The next few weeks I'm going to be busy cleaning up the garden making sauces and chilli powder from my final harvests as well as finishing off a variety of fermented hot sauces and sharing more recipes with you. It would mean the world to me if you could leave a comment, like and subscribe. Until next time, see you same chilli time, same chilli channel.